this class you will be making 16 crazy log cabin blocks. Each square is 12 and a half inches and has a center surrounded by strips or logs. You will need to choose a fabric for your centers. You will also need to choose fabric for the logs. In my quilt, half of the logs come from one color family. The blues and greens and purples on this side and the other half from a different family, the pinks and oranges. You may decide to make all the logs different colors or just stick with two different fabrics. When you use two different colors or color families, you will be able to get a secondary design. I will talk more about this in a future segment. Giving you an exact yardage requirement for this quilt is difficult, as each piece is unique. Some folks may decide to use just a few fabrics, while others may want many fabrics. I've attached a handout with yardage requirements that should be more than enough to complete 16 blocks. You can use fabric scraps like this, or you can purchase new fabric to complete your quilt, or you can do a combination of both. I recommend using 100% cotton fabric. Let me say that again. You should use 100% cotton fabric as it is easy to sew and press. I also encourage you to wash all your fabric before you begin this project as fabric shrinks and or may not be color fast. You do not want to be surprised with the fabric that bleeds onto other fabrics after the quilt is completed. Choosing your fabric should be fun. Since this is a crazy quilt, you have permission to get a little crazy with your choices. At times, though, it can be overwhelming to try to visualize what your finished quilt will look like when completed. To help with your fabric decisions, you might want to pick a focal fabric. A focal or focus fabric is a piece of material that you like. Use this fabric as a guide to help you choose fabrics for your quilt. So I've chosen this piece of fabric as my focal fabric. I've pulled out red for my centers. I've gathered some blues for my logs. I've also gathered beiges and some golds. Notice I can look for solids, prints, or a combination of both. In the next video segment I will go over how I used a focal fabric to choose my fabric.